Republican senators noted that Tondin tweeted three years ago that Russia did a lot more to help Bernie than the DNC's random internal emails did to help Hillary. While Sanders did not rehash specific tweets, he noted that Tondin has publicly disparaged him and other prominent political figures. Your attacks were not just made against Republicans, he said. There were vicious attacks against progressives, people who I have worked with. Me personally, Tondin expressed regret for her harsh words. I feel badly about that, she said. My approach will be radically different. Republicans have raised concern that Tondin's past criticism of lawmakers could impede her ability to work with Congress on major policy and funding issues that require bipartisan support to clear both chambers. Sen. Bernie Sanders speaks as near a Tondin appears before a Senate committee on the budget hearing on Capitol Hill. Andrew Harnickpool, Getty Images. During Tondon's first confirmation hearing Tuesday, Sen. Rob Portman, R. Ohio, noted that Tondon wrote that Susan Collins is the worst, that Tom Cotton is a fraud, that vampires have more heart than Ted Cruz, and called Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. Moscow Mitch and Voldemort. Tondon also has faced scrutiny for the millions of dollars in corporate donations her liberal think tank has accepted. Sanders said Wednesday that his affirmative vote for her confirmation will be contingent on assurance that the money the Center for American Progress has taken in under Tondon's leadership will not undermine her duty to create an economy that works for all of us and not just wealthy campaign contributors. At a time when the wealthy and large corporations have extraordinary influence over the economic and political life of this country, I must tell you that I am concerned about the level of corporate donations that the Center for American Progress has received under your leadership, Sanders said, noting that the Washington Post found $33 million in private sector donations to the think tank in an analysis of tax filings and donor disclosures. So before I vote on your nomination, Sanders said, it is important for me and members of this committee to know that those donations that you have secured a cap will not influence your decision-making at the um. Tondon vowed that corporate donations her organization has received will have zero impact on my decision-making if she is confirmed as um director. The committee's ranking Republican, Sen. Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, said the corporate donations Tondon's group took didn't bother him. I think all of us have received donations from different groups, Graham said. That doesn't mean your own because somebody gives you money. So I'm not going to hold that against you. Republicans on the House Budget Committee on Tuesday urged Senate leaders to reject the nomination and raised questions about Tondon's tweets, while noting broader allegations of sexual harassment and retaliation during her time at the helm of the Center for American Progress. It is important that the OM director can lead this large office with sound judgment and bipartisan civility, the House lawmakers wrote. Unfortunately, Ms. Tondon's past conduct raises questions about whether she would be able to provide such leadership.